<laughs> Hi YouTube, what's up? I'm Cora and this is Speak. I'm Andre. And why are you all of a sudden? Because I had a better intro than that. Okay, well go ahead. Go with your intro. What's going on, fam? How's it going? We're back again. Now, I do have to say, no, I have to apologize, okay? We did have another video, but some big things are in the works and it kind of took over our time. It's not more important than you. We just had to make sure that we got uh, those things going. So from now on, you are fam. So how's it going, fam? Welcome back. <laughs> That's how I like to greet my family warmly with a smile. All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what are we doing today? So today we are answering about 10 more questions frequently asked that everybody wants to know. There's a lot of things that people don't know about us, so we mm -hmm. want to make sure you know moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'll be asking, no, <laughs> we'll be answering 10 questions, PG questions, because pff, like, where do some of you get off on asking <laughs> some of these questions? Like, yo, you're not even on my close friends list. You can't. I don't have a close friends list. All right, let's go. I don't have a close friends list. She does. No, I don't. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, some of my questions when I do Q&As on my story are not very G-rated. Yeah, not very G-rated. So we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to. answer. We're not going to answer those questions yeah, at we'll all. We'll just bypass. I don't know. Nine ninety nine a month might get me to answer some of those questions, though. <laughs> Just drop down here if you pay that nine ninety nine. You feel me? <laughs> Anyways, no. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. Uh, just pull up the first question. Okay, I just sent it. To I have here. a bootleg iPhone. Um, it's kind of old, and then I have like a screen on it, and I made the letters really big, so it's hard for her to navigate. He has that old people look at, you know. Listen, there's nothing wrong with trying to see right. No, not at all. Okay, none. so. Dang it. I want to be random. Just <laughs> hold on. I have. Why? Okay, hold on. See, if it was me, I would have just. <sighs> do you guys spend every day together? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yes, we spend every the, day. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. The only time I don't spend time with him is when I'm. Cleaning, picking up kids, dropping off kids, taking kids to doctor's appointments, which is all the time. So we don't spend every single minute of the day together, but there is a majority of the portion of our day that we're together. Yeah, she finds anything to do to get out of the house. It's like, oh, I can't sit I gotta, in the house all day. I got a, oh, got a nail appointment. Oh, what do you guys want for dinner, lunch, breakfast? Just buy it one time on Sunday, like get it all out of the way he thinks that's easy do you know okay another question what is our budget for food like wait we no we can't just go into the questions like that we have to stretch out the content <laughs> okay so to answer your question yes we are we are with each other every single day but there are errands that um of course we're not you know going to be by each other every second every minute of the day so yeah um now if you're asking what you're really asking is are you guys tired of each other <laughs> no we might get frustrated there might be an attitude here and there but overall we cool we cool we cool okay next question <laughs> so back into the budget question as far mm -hmm. as what is our budget for but do you really want to come up with a question like that or do you want to like and then hit it but i mean look we might as well just answer the budget so the budget for the food we don't have one no. i'm literally i go to the <laughs> store every day every other day just to buy something that we're missing our kids go through our pantry like it's nothing within a day or two yeah i could buy four loaves of bread and it's gone the next day six <laughs> six loaves of bread and if we buy a certain type of cereal it's gone within it's, hours it's 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 done now, what really gets on my nerves, right? Like, I'll go into the kitchen and I'll see more cereal in the sink than was in the bag. I'm like, why would you? You know what? Let me not get into that. I don't understand why. How are you going to waste? Even when I was a kid, 
when I was a kid, I didn't waste cereal. And somebody going to be generation. like, oh, well, you look like you didn't waste no food. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Our kids waste a lot of food, but at the same time, they eat a lot of food. There's a lot of them. When they were younger, it was a lot easier to manage. Now they're just, oh, I'm hungry every five seconds and go in the kitchen and go eat. Now, I will say this. When we first moved here, I had this place running like boot camp, okay? 7 a.m. was breakfast. 10 a.m. was a snack. 1 p.m. was lunch. 4 p.m. was a snack. And we would eat dinner anywhere between 7 and 7.30. No one was allowed in the kitchen unless I rang the bell. It wasn't really a bell, but it was like, hey, come eat. It's time to eat. But everyone in the house would basically didn't like that. They didn't like how that was going. So now it's a free for all. See, it's not that they didn't like how it was going. He fed them like they were in boot camp. Here's a slice of bread. Here's a piece of cheese. Look, I had it down. But, but so check this. They get up in the morning, they'll probably eat some cereal. When I was doing myself, they had breakfast sandwiches, they had their juice, and they had 15 minutes to eat it. <laughs> tried to run the house like it and was. it was ran do you understand me yeah but he didn't get the text messages mommy <laughs> who cares the kitchen was clean all the time because guess what all all they had to do was come in eat on time and get the heck out the way because i cleaned the kitchen <laughs> right afterwards but no no that was too hard but okay let's go to the next 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 question <laughs> i mean the kids were fed I guess that was the important part. All right, let's see. What is the, we already answered that one. Mm -hmm. Was labor and pregnancy easy for me? I can't answer that question. <laughs> um, no and yes. My very first one, I was a big baby. I was only 17. So every little ache and pain was a major deal for me. His delivery in itself, my firstborn was pretty easy. They drug me up, didn't feel a thing, pushed them out. It was all great. My second one was a nightmare. She decided to break my water and within an hour I was screaming, pushing her out. I didn't even wait for the nurse or the doctor. It was literally get her out of me. The other ones, they are kind of a blur. I did have a few where the epidural wore off and that was excruciating pain. I did not have any C-sections, so everything was a vaginal birth. But overall, I would say my pregnancies were pretty easy. I did have a lot of preterm labor. That was pretty much it. And all my kids were born pretty early. So from anywhere from 36 weeks, majority were 36 weeks, one of them was 39. I mean, it did get to the point where it was like, oh, my water broke, okay, let's go. All right, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> there was, after so many pregnancies, maybe I was starting my after my fourth one, I would tell my doctor, please don't leave because I have a feeling I'm going to have this child this weekend. And for some reason, all my doctors decided to go on vacation right around 36 weeks. So none of my doctors actually delivered my child because they decided to go on vacation when I told them I was going to have this baby. Mm. I mean, we <laughs> I mean, kind of know how it goes. But anyways, <laughs> next question. Um, Let's see. How many kids did your own parents have and do you have any siblings which have kids? You go first because mine is a little bit deeper than that. <laughs> <laughs> so my parents are divorced. My mom had another child when I was nine and my dad never had more children. So I grew up with my dad and my sister grew up with my mom. We reconnected back when my sister was six months old, but then I moved back with my dad. So. I have a sister. She has two kids. We're not really that close, but we're close. We don't really speak every day, but she's still my sister. She's still Chechi. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so now his story is a little bit more complicated. Okay. Uh, so let's <laughs> see. My dad. All right. So my dad and my mom, um, they had families before they met each other. Um, so my dad, let me see, had. Katrin, Gary, Darren, Dawn, Sue Ann. And my mom had Owen. You see these fingers? Hold on. <laughs> Owen, Kelwin, David, Kimlin, me, and Joseph. So there's 11. 
So yeah, I have 11, no, I have 10 brothers and sisters. Yeah, so I have 10 brothers and sisters all from, what is it called? A blended family. A, yeah, blended family. Um, my little brother and I are the only ones born here in the States. Everyone else was born in Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. So yeah, wow, there's actually 11 of us. I'm just following the trend, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Must be, uh, it must be in the genes. <laughs> I was not born here in the States. I was actually born in Bahrain. And my sister was actually born here in the States. So, mm. yeah. All my kids are, to me, they're first generation. I'm first generation. <laughs> so my kids are second generation. Um, let's see. After all these years together, does your family finally accept your non-Indian hubby? I'm 7%. I mean, if that even counts, you know, it's from Trinidad. So everybody's dang near mixed with everything. So um, I'm 7%, but that don't matter. We're talking about the complexion. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So I haven't actually spoken to my dad in over a decade. So there was that falling out. And then my mom, she, was it last year? Or was it the year before? She was like, oh, you know, I'm glad mm -hmm. she met you. What exactly mm -hmm. did she say? So um, she was in Kerala at the time. Um, and we were speaking to her through, what was it FaceTime or was it WhatsApp? Uh, anyway, it was a really bad connection. So yeah, it was probably WhatsApp. It was probably WhatsApp. <laughs> so, you know, she was, she was showing me her house, showing me her yard, her fruits and mango trees and stuff like that. And she wanted to come back, uh, you know, she wanted to come back stateside. But there was a lot of restrictions due to COVID. So she wanted me to help her, you know, find a house and stuff. And in the midst of all that talking, she's like, Andre, you know, I'm very proud. You stayed with my daughter. Um, you, you're doing a very good job. You know, I'm, I'm proud of you. So there's that um, from her mom. Now, I will say I have spent more time around her mom than her dad. Um, the dad always seemed kind of scared of me, but that was weird. Anyways, um, so yeah, I feel like I feel like I feel like your mom is pretty good right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel it. You know, there's always still a little mm, from <laughs> from a lot of the stuff that was said about me and 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 done. So I, I still have like a little bit of side eye, you know, side eyeness. But I'm always the one who will tell her, "Hey, um, you know, go talk to your mom or or, or, or something like that." Um, so yeah, what was the question again? <laughs> does oh. my parents accept you? So my Maybe. mom says she does. I'm still hesitant. Her actions speak louder than her words. But, you know, at the same time, she's still my mom. So our relationship is not that great. I don't really care to talk to her that much just because of how things are. So, I mean, she might say she accepts them, but at the end of the day, does she really? You really don't know people's intentions. I don't know. We haven't been around her in a minute, though. Yeah. And she was smiling her tail off on the phone. I will say Yeah, that. but that could be because, you know what? Let me not. She might watch this. <laughs> <laughs> See, see, there I am. I'm a forgiving person. So I'm like, you know, maybe she did change. Give her a shot. She's like, eh. Okay, next question. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> you got to keep it open. Well, your phone goes to sleep. How do you stay organized with meals, laundry, and groceries? As you can tell, he doesn't help you with that. That's not why I said that. Why? Go ahead. No, 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 no. How do you stay organized? I don't stay organized. I'm a last minute type of person. So I don't or I don't know what we're having for dinner that night. My daughter and a few of my other kids. Oh, what's for dinner? What's it for is dinner? nine o'clock in the morning. You're asking me what's Seriously. for dinner. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I really don't know regarding what we're having that day. Yeah, there's really no organizational skills yeah. implemented. So it's like a three o'clock in the afternoon. What do you guys want for dinner? Dance. <laughs> Pizza, tacos. I want curry. And then yeah, so. I'm like, McDonald's. I like McDonald's. I don't. 
So laundry, I try to get it done, but then a lot of their kids do their own laundry. So there's a lot of times when the washing machine is full, I need like five of them in order to actually get everybody's laundry done on time. We definitely do need to get on a plan though, because a schedule, I mean, because man, every time I go downstairs to maybe do some laundry, there's always something going, always <laughs> something. In yeah, with a lot of kids, a lot of clothes, the washing machine is constantly nonstop going. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Groceries, I go to the store maybe, what, every other day? Every day. Every day. <laughs> every day. Every single day, because something's always out. Every day. Yeah. And Me, personally, I would just go on Sunday, mm -hmm. stock, stock up for a week, two weeks, and just go from there. But, you know, they don't like how I run things. Next question. <laughs> so is the whole household very competitive whenever it comes to sports, board games, etc.? Yes. It started with my first son uh, when he was four, maybe three, three or four years old. We were playing, um, me, him, and my brother, we were playing Halo. And it's no mercy. No mercy. I don't care. <laughs> we don't care how old you are, what ethnic background you come from. We don't care. If you're playing against us, we're going to dog you and let you know that we're dogging <laughs> you, okay? So we're, bam, killing them, killing them, killing my son. And, you know, I'm looking at him. I'm like, you're trash. Man, get off the sticks. You, you can't even be playing with us. He got so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this little kid just... And then ever since then, he will not take an L, period. And and if he is forced to take an L, he's not talking to anybody until that L is avenged. So it started with him, and then he, it goes to all my sons, like my my two oldest sons, super competitive with each other. It'll literally start with playing around and end up with me having to get in the middle and breaking up their scrum on how competitive things get. Um, there's been a few fights. There's been a few fights, yeah. Like physical altercations yeah. between my children. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then um, Cairo, you know, he has a mouthpiece on him. He knows how to cut deep fast. So that's a whole nother thing that um, kind of goes into all the competitiveness. He, you know, all of them are good at what, what they're good at. And if they're challenged, it's a wrap. Um, <laughs> Romani, not so much, I don't think, huh? No, my youngest daughter, she's in her own world. She's good at what she's good at. Nobody else really can compete with that. Can't, they, they cannot. She is an artiste. She, she's into... Uh, she plays a violin. Yeah. She gets commissions on her drawings. She's really just good at what she's good at. She's, she's, she's in her she's own lane where no one in the house messes with her. <laughs> out of pure, she's so cute and adorable. <laughs> Don't mess with Romani. <laughs> She's a she's a younger sister that they but all want to protect. From what I'm understanding, Romani is a whole gangster when we're not around. Because, you know, I'm like, oh, she's so cute. And everybody's like, Daddy, you don't know Romani XYZ? Da, 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 da. She's over here bullying. I'm like, there's no way. Nah. I haven't I seen it, so it doesn't exist. Exactly. It doesn't happen. She's the baby. Let's see. How did my parents take the news when I was pregnant with my first kid? I wasn't there, so you let them know. See, that story, just to get to that point, is long. <laughs> so but I, I already know. know how she took the news. We actually did a... Uh, yeah, we, we did, did a, a real about it. We did. No. Oh. Yes, I'm over here dancing. <laughs> we did a real. So, ultimately, let me just... I guess... Just say how they took it. That's all you got to do. Well, she told me to get an abortion. I guess there's that. Yeah. <laughs> So ultimately, that's why he's a led. black guy. Black guys aren't going to stay because you know how they are. He's going to leave you now. You ruined your life. I can't believe black guy. You should have married XYZ doctor back in India. <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't turn out. Matter of fact, wanted. matter of fact, Mole, just go ahead and get rid of the baby and we'll start over. That's how she took it. Yeah. I don't know what her dad said. I don't even remember what he said, honestly. Mm -hmm. I don't think he acknowledged it. Mm. Um, so hardest part about maintaining a sustainable, healthy marriage while being individuals. While we individuals? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a good question. Read that again. 
Hardest part about mm -hmm. maintaining a sustainable, healthy marriage while being individuals. Sustainable, healthy marriage while being individuals. I mean, that's honestly the only way to be in a healthy marriage. It's to be your own to be, self. Yeah. You can't just copy everything the other person is doing. You Can know? you imagine her trying to act like this? She you like, get along. <laughs> I'm, I'm like extra and open um, to a fault. I'm and, closed off and very stern and mm -hmm. get things done. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I do want to say, I guess us keeping higher individuality um, helps. And also, uh, this is going to sound so cliche, but honestly, if you're hearing so many people say it, it's true. Communication, not hiding what you're feeling, not hiding what you're doing, not hiding, hiding you know, what you're thinking. It's open communication it might lead to arguments but at the same time that argument is part of the communicating you know the communication mm -hmm. process and then you work through it see if an argument is what makes you break up you guys weren't going to make it mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying um so yeah you really have to think about it like that it was just i mean there's a lot of communicating that mm -hmm. happens. And yes, you're not going to agree with the other person. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, there has to be some type of middle ground in order to be able to get mm -hmm. what you're trying to say accomplished. Right? Mm -hmm. Compromise. Yeah, that's Compromise and understanding. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. I hope that answered the question. Do we have a couple song? If so, what is the title? That question just keeps... <laughs> like It's like, yo, you're going to answer me. So, so what's her song? Isn't it back at one? No, not necessarily. That was the only song that made me come to your house that day. Okay, so do, do we, we have, have a song? song? Apparently, we don't have a song. Shoot, we actually, I, for the longest time, I thought it was Brian McKnight, back at one. I mean, we could make it check what your mama gave me if you want. <laughs> I got a few songs where I could throw it in the trapezoid. <laughs> Matter of fact. Hmm. I don't understand why this is still a question. So one of the number one questions I get asked is, am I Indian? And what part am I from? Are and you? I don't know why I'm Indian, 100%. Both my parents are Indian. They're both from Kerala. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born in India, but still, I'm Indian. Mm. Let's see. The the city my mom is from from is Varkula. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it all wrong. You're not. And my dad is from Trivandrum. That's it. I don't know anything else when it comes to the little tiny micro cities or whatever. That's I don't know any of that. Okay. So wait, you're Indian? I know. Wow. <laughs> Makes sense. Now, why did we want so many kids? There wasn't a want or not want. It just mm -hmm. happened. Not yeah. I mean, we just had them mm -hmm. and wouldn't change it. There wasn't like a, when I'm 40, I want, you know, X yeah. amount of kids. It's like they happened in the process of, <laughs> I found out how you make them and I couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say this, in, in my household growing up, there was a book. Apparently it's supposed to tell you your life story. I don't remember the exact name of it. Now, in that book, when it was translated, did say that I was going to have a lot of children. I was like, yeah, okay, it's just a book, people trying to read my future. I mean, I have a lot of children. I don't remember the book because I did lose it. Does the blue light mean recording? Because it better be recording. It is recording, but make that's sure. that. The blue light make is sure. not for that. Make sure it's recording. I got to go back and check. Just make sure. Just look. Yes, it's recording. Okay, good. Because I'm, you know, I just had this fear just pop up. Did all that talking and it's not recording. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. Go ahead. The book of... I don't remember what the book was, but I eventually ended up losing it or maybe my parents have it. I don't know. Say, wait, what happened with the book again? The oh, book I told lost. you. I had a lot of kids. Oh, okay. Okay, I think that was pretty much... That was it. So how did your parents take when they found out you were having a baby with me? I don't remember. <laughs> they were like, eh. But my dad was never... No, now here's the thing. I'm about to say something. But it's not the same, okay? My dad wasn't really around. And it's not because of what you're thinking. He worked offshore. So I want to say he was on the boat for like three months and then home for 
two weeks mm -hmm. and then back out on the boat. So he raised us and he did a really good job. It's just, um, it's just recently, he, I don't know. I never got that. I never got that. Uh. <laughs> okay, here's another one. How long have you been in Vegas? And where did you live before? And Go why ahead. did you leave? So we met in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. And Beach time. So from Houston. Hold it down, baby. We Go moved ahead. to California for what a few do? months. <laughs> and then We're from California. The south, side. the south side. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. Then from California, we yeah, moved to down. Arizona and then Arizona to Vegas. Now, we moved to Vegas originally because my son got accepted into Gorman, Bishop Man, Gorman so High School for, for football is what he wanted to go for. But ultimately, it didn't work out that way. He didn't end up going. So, But we're still here. Man, I'm coming through. You good? My bad. Go ahead. What, what was the next? What was the question? Why oh, we oh, moved here. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She did it. Go ahead. That was that. That was that. So how many questions was that that we answered? Let's do two more. Okay. You want to do two more? Um, what do we do in our spare time? If you've seen our Instagram, we are in the gym a lot. So in our spare time, we're in the gym. Um, but my household is a big gaming household. Um, you know, we have PS5s. We have... Xbox One X's, um, we have VRs, you know, the Quest. We're always gaming, always gaming. Um, so, yeah, if we're not doing something extremely physical, we're doing something extremely <laughs> the opposite. We're just being a couch potato and on the game. Um, yeah. My kids, they mostly play Fortnite, Madden, um, Warzone. Me myself, I'm I'm more of a RPG, MMORPG, um, J JRPG type of uh, uh, games, and then on VR, yeah. Hit me up on VR chat, GQ Gemini, yeah. If you want to chat. <laughs> um. Yeah, he pretty much summed it up. I'm a cute anime girl. On the other hand, me, what I do in my spare time is go grocery shopping without the kids. She really likes to make it seem like, oh, I, all I do is mother. <laughs> really? Okay, let me take you through my typical day. I'm okay? just mothering all day. <laughs> it's wow. not really what I do, but it may seem like it. So yesterday, for example, I was just too exhausted. 3.30, my daughter wakes me up to go to the gym. We get back by 5.30. I take my other kids to school, take my other child to school, take my daughter to work, come home, do some work, go back and pick up my kid. <laughs> then what else do I do? Then I come home, clean up, try to organize dinner, spend time with him, do some more work, then go back and pick up more children. It's just a cycle of children. <laughs> what do you do all day? I make things happen. You see this here? Me. I write. See, I can't tell people what I do because you're like, don't put our business out there. So I can't tell y'all what I do. Let's just say I send a lot of emails and make a lot of calls. That I could say that, right? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> but... I think we answered all the pretty much all the questions. So that's it. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, shoot. Let's do one more. Let me see. How do you say argument? Wow, that's all the questions you actually answered them. There's a few. Hmm. I kind of like this one. So, how do you cope with casual racism, sexism, ageism, and socials? I mean, I guess we deal with that every day on uh, on social media. Um, she doesn't. She's like, oh, okay, you have something bad to say? Okay, cool. Bam, keeps it moving. <laughs> now, me, on the other hand, I got time to be petty because I will reply. And trust me, my reply is a setup for five replies later. So go ahead and test me. And another thing, 
if you don't have a profile picture and you're private, I got 10 replies for that too. So <laughs> she don't got time for it, but I do. That's how we deal with it. <laughs> as far as in real life, yeah, I don't really life, deal yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, the cool thing is um, everywhere we go, people... They either like us or they're really fake. I don't know. We haven't really <laughs> ran into anybody who doesn't like us. Um, I mean, except for when she's driving, then we get people. I don't walking. drive crazy, okay? <sighs> she drives like she's in New York. Well, I learned how to drive when I was in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Me, but everywhere I go, I'm smiling. Um, I treat everyone like we've been friends forever. So we really don't, haven't had any problems with anything like that. Which is weird. I mean, when I was a kid, that was different. I was in Louisiana, but haven't dealt with it here except for, you know, the mm -hmm. casual stuff online and the early part of the relationship. Yeah, no, Besides we haven't that, really nothing. dealt so, with yeah. as any of that. We're blessed, I guess. Yeah, that's that's about it. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for staying to the end watching another video of our lives. Now, what we're going to start doing after this is actually incorporating the kids, incorporating um, a day in a life of what actually goes on in the house. We just wanted to introduce ourselves and, um, you know, answer some of the questions that you guys have repeatedly asked and that we didn't give a, you know, a solid answer to. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, I know I said that we were going to try to do two videos a week and that's still what we want to do. Um, but right now, we're kind of failed at that. It's like one video a week. But we're definitely going to try to do two. So thank you once again. Do you have anything, any parting words to say to the fam? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to record my daily life. I really am. It's just with so much going on back to back to back, it's like, mommy, remember to record. I'm like, crap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's pretty much need to have cameras set up around the house so you could see everything. Even my kids are reminding Nobody me. Nobody wants to before? see me like twerking in front of the fridge at three o'clock in the morning. Looking for, you <laughs> yes, know, they what? do. It's like, oh. Do you not? <laughs> <laughs> but okay, yeah. guys, we're heading out. That's it, right? You don't have nothing. nothing That's else to it. Say? I'm going to try to record for you guys. My daily life, kids. We're going to get there. Okay. So stay tuned. All right. So, Take care. We'll see you later, guys. A peace. <laughs> He's going to be like, stop using my stuff. <laughs>